This is Jay Rodman, and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, today, we're going to head down into Unterbrae 4 and take another crack at Real Hasty Aptarch. First, I want to see a loading screen. There we go. Okay, I love that thing. Okay, <laughs> I I really do. I just I just crashed a moment ago, and now I'm out of sorts in um, keeping organized. Uh, so before I get anywhere, I have to um, do some inventory management, and dump a bunch of gems. It's simply a wash in gems. And they're clogging up my inventory. Uh, and I'm, I, you need inventory space to get upgrades. If you like, don't pay attention, your inventory can fill up. That's the main problem. Gems two. Oh, oh, that got saved. Oh, so I, I guess uh, I don't need to do all that. Um, add a member. When you create a character and then remove them and then leave, your, your characters get saved when they wander off into the wilderness, I believe. If that didn't happen, then I accidentally cheated and made a bunch of gem copies, which is a thing you can sort of do if you know what you're doing. It looks like I didn't. That's fine. Okay, Master Wand get, needs to get transferred to someone who can use it. I'm going to drop the Stay Blade. Don't need it. Uh, this day blade we also don't need, but at least it has 741 charges. Move a harmonic gem to someone who can use it, and move two harmonic gems to people who can use them. I think that's it for inventory management. Okay, snapshot made. Mm. Safety song. I could have used something else instead of that, but whatever. Uh, major levitation. Sorcerer sight. Mystic coat of armor and the compass. Of these, only short lived one is the compass. I don't know why there is no permanent compass in this game, but there is not. The fire is also not permanent, but at least it's long lived relatively. I turned, I turned around. I did that all in uh, fast forward, running the emulator at as fast as it would go, which apparently right now is two times speed because my machine is taxed. Fourteen west. Take me to the portal. And down through the portal. And let's follow the hamburger road. I'm not gonna move the thing on the map, I'm just gonna go north, east, north, east, east, south, south. East, 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 that's four. Two, north, 
one west, one two north, one two west, one two north. Okay, that puts us here. Last time we were down, we mapped what we thought, which is all the bad stuff's in the middle. Then go around the edge, no big deal. Deathclaw, by himself. You can die by yourself. That's fine. You're worth experience points. I'm not gonna give those up. So far, he's eaten 100 damage. And been turned to stone. Yep. Hard to tank that. Or you can tank it forever. I'll just leave with my experience points. Okay. So. I used to always, when I played this in the old days, I would cut this way, because it was <clears throat> simpler, mostly. I don't think I ever bothered to map this out. But you do lose some spell points, so... Seems worth trying. Uh, I don't feel like fighting a lot of you. distraction. Um, oh right, I'm in darkness. That's why I can't see anything. So, from the map, we want to go west, north, west, west. Then, one, two... And I have a fight, so I don't know how far I went. That is annoying! my position. I'm at 15 north, right where the map shows. One, two more. Two to the east. One south. Now I need to go one, two, three, four east, and I'll just do that first. One, two, three, four. My compass fell off. That is tedious. wall anyway. South, west, west, north. Okay. Time to light a match. Because I kind of want to see this room. And I think Belhasti is there. So what are in the other squares? Nothing. Okay, do I need anything to get ready? <coughs> um, I should change my bard song to something somewhat useful. Safety song is not it. Uh, probably Sanctuary score is the best I'm gonna do. The party has entered the chamber of Brilhasti Aptarge. He doesn't seem pleased to meet you. I thought his name would sounded Arabic, but apparently Aptarge sounds more Celtic. Uh, which I guess is appropriate for Scarabray. Okay. So. These guys probably have nothing useful they can do, really. But I do want the Dark Guards to die, and attacking them theoretically helps with that. Especially with Stoneblade Grisnok, I guess that really does help. 
Okay. Um, the healing song is so minor. I'm going to do Rhyme of Duo Time in hopes of helping Elena, who I think is my secret weapon. Okay. Uh, you should cast Death Strike on the guards who might step forward. And so should you. And let's slow it down. So they did not succumb to my death strikes. But they, one of them did get stoned, so that's a nice thing. I don't know how I'm going to manage the greater demons. I don't know if they're a bigger problem than the death guard, dark guards either. Okay. Everyone will attack dark guards. Chantrell, I guess... More safety song. Sanctuary score, rather. Well, some sanctuary score. I think the multiple attacks is less important now. Okay. Restoration to hopefully keep some people alive. And death strike to hopefully take out the greater demon. Yeah, the spells they cast are really what I wish they wouldn't, but um, I do have Restoration. Okay, I got rid of one of the demons from Treading Water. One Dark Guard down. Uh, I guess I should, I don't know. I'm going to start doing stacking bring around ballots because it's another phase in the combat to have healing in. I am at full health. Should I cast the restoration? Probably. But I'm going to cast death strike instead. See if I can get ahead of the curve. Yeah, that Dark Guard cast a spell at the party is what I wish they wouldn't do. And he's doing it again. Resist Hop Blossom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. I should have cast Restoration. Another dark card is down. Death Strike didn't work. Lady Oak Shield hits basically nothing. And the Death Strikes are not working. Okay, next time I do this, Death Strike is not a good use of my time. At least not on the guards. Um. No, Grisnok can't defend. She's the one that can do real damage. Okay. If I'm going to start dying, I need to put Ogre Strength on my Rogue. My Thief. Uh, restoration.
Restoration landed. Okay, that's good. That's good. Another dark guard is gone. I feel like I'm winning, although it's still kind of chancy. Look at that 100 damage from the demon. Okay, we have no enemies except Rohasti right now. And I think Rohasti can't do much damage from 60 feet. I like that he's wearing kind of like a loincloth. I don't like that he has crystals sticking out of his body that are growing there. Or maybe he grew from them? I don't know. Either way, it's unsettling. Okay. Elena, do your job. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. That was not what I asked you to do. I want you to do kill him, not hit him for 88 damage. Okay. So I have to survive five more rounds. Uh, I suppose I could start trying to plink away at Brilhasti. Defend, defend. They haven't got anything to do, so they're going to just defend. Uh, duo time to start increasing my number of attacks for the next chance my rogue gets. Uh, Anti-magic. I think anti-magic stacks, so I think if I like keep laying it on, the risk of a demon appearing and screwing up my world fall off. I think I can put the speed of combat back up to the usual. Oh, it buffered that. I would really like it if you could target your attacks at the place where the summon was going to happen. I wonder how many hit points he has. It could be like thousands. I do think I won this combat one time with that strategy though. Like. I think I used gems and did it for a long time. Kill, kill him, kill him. 
kill him. Oh, that was not killing him. Still, it was 320 damage. He probably does not have infinite spell point, hit points rather. And if he heals, um, well, Okay, let's not think about that. He'd probably, he'd, he'd probably tell me, like, so-and-so casts a spell and heals himself. So the way to lose this fight, by the way, in case you're wondering, is to advance and get in range of his spells. That is a definite way to lose this fight. With that hitting of him 13 times, you can see how many times I've stacked up the Rhyme of Duo time. Because the thinking is, if I can't critical strike him, at least I can do a shitload of damage. There we go. 778 damage and finally critting him, which is basically infinite. Party has killed Rohasti Aptarj. A force is enveloping the party. And the usual ritual of killing it twice. That my character disc is in there. And they teleport us to the review board. Welcome, you children of prophecy. Upon your shoulders falls a great weight, for you must embark on what will be your greatest adventure ever. I, let's assume we're the people that did all those other things in the earlier games. That which has laid waste to Scarabray is an ancient evil recently released. It threatens to destroy all reality and time as it has wrought havoc on Scarabray. If you cannot stop it, it will consume the universe. If you do stop it, you will be rewarded beyond all your dreams. Prepare thyselves and hasten to the place of trees, for it is the first dimension you must sojourn in to blunt the evil. Aborea, the home of Valerian the Bold, is reached through using powerful magic that only a chronomancer can control. Bring to me Valerian's bow and the arrows of life, if Valerian will not return here with you. 
Yes, and be on the lookout for an ally, for you are not the first I have sent through on this quest. Though your paths are different, they may cross, and you will do well together. With a wave of his hand, he re-energizes your magic users. He actually did a little more than re-energize them. Their um, hit point totals are now 375. You can see they're exactly the same. And their spell point totals are 350. So my little gambit of uh, going through Conjurer and Magician first didn't actually have a lot of effect. I guess it gave me more hit points and more spell points. And that... I guess higher stats overall, because if you look... Let's exit. If we look at Griselda, 20 is now her minimum stats. So we, we managed to push some of these higher than they would be otherwise. Uh, also, we were level 11 sorcerers, and we got turned into level 11 archmages. If I really wanted to min-max this, I would have waited to 13 sorcerer and then we would be 13 Archmages, which would... Uh, well, let me just say, leveling up a Sorcerer is a lot faster than leveling up an Archmage. That's what that's about. So we got a... and indirectly... We, we, this, we basically just finished the starter dungeon. It's like, okay, I'm gonna make you as strong as roughly a party that finished Bard's Tale 2. Just, just go do this adventure now. That was their way of handling the level rationalization. So, here are, here are a shitload of spells we just acquired. So here are the sorcerer spells. We got Rhyme, which is some sort of blast everyone with magic spell. I don't remember exactly. Wind Hero, a summoning spell we won't use. Mage Maelstrom. Sorry, Rhyme is a single group heavy damage. Mage Maelstrom hits everyone in the combat except it's illusionary so sometimes they cancel it by disbelieving preclusion is the spell i wanted which is no summons for anyone uh these are not so exciting um i guess i can look them up Whoop. i'm gonna bring them up and cover the map with them can i do that make it fit. Okay, so here's the wizard spells we got. Summon Elemental, who cares? Force Focus, decent single part, single group attack for only 10 feet. Prime Summoning, Summon doesn't matter. Demon's Bane hurts one demon or undead a lot, very efficiently, but only, you know, useful against one. Flame Column, decent group attack. Dispossess cancels possession, although I think there's stronger things for that. Another summon that we don't care about. This one's weird. If someone dies, you could bring them back as a corpse to fight for you. Uh, I've never done it, but it's an interesting idea. Uh, this pulls an enemy into your party, so it's another form of summon that I won't use. Um, but it's a cool idea, and I used it a lot in Part Tale 1, where you had a dedicated summon slot. Soul Whip is a very good ranged single target attack. Beats out our old Spectre Touch. Greater summoning, another summon. Beyond death, this is the resurrection. So now we can resurrect our fallen comrades. Wizard War is a single group uh, group attack. I never really used it much. Um, I think it's not as good as some others you get access to pretty soon afterwards. Uh, Demon Strike is... I don't understand. Why did I never use this? This is a lot of damage. I don't know. Maybe I did. I just... Not thinking of it now. Anyway, 50 foot strong damage. Okay, then we have Archmage spells. Which I don't know if I have yet. Uh, yeah, I do have some of them. I'll have more of them very soon. Okay. A Halt Foe makes... It's like Freeze Foes on everyone. I never remember to use it. If it works well, it's great. No one else gets to do anything. Or, sorry, they all miss. Whatever, it's the same thing. Well, it's not the same thing, I suppose. It means if you're being hammered by melee, you can stop them all. This is where... This is this is a bread and butter spell. This moves an enemy group into uh, melee range. So you can cast Death Strike on it, and you can use your stone blades and kill it. So it's a fairly one-two punch. Move something far away right up close, and then wipe it out. 
Thatch Bell is utility. It just um, casts all the spells that are in this area. All these summit, like shields and um, light, and it costs all of them at once. Uh, and that's it. So that's, those are the spells I have, but I'm higher level than that, so I don't know why he didn't give me the others. Let's buy them. Advancement. Or not advancement. Spell acquiring. Okay, so now I have camaraderie, which is pretty useless. It makes people who are when summons can get upset and attack you and this calms them down we are not going to have summons night lance is why i don't use demon strike much because demon strike does 200 to 400 and this does 100 to 400 and well demon strike is cheaper so i should use demon strike but whatever i generally use this it goes further heal uh resurrects everyone and heals them all of all damage which is pretty good this is a big summon I never use. Okay. That's it for all the spells that we got. Come to front, Mr. Map. Okay. Um, the next thing to do is to make one of these two into our Chronomancer. My initial plan was to make the one with the most spell points into my Chronomancer, but they have the same. I'm going to make Elendor onto my Chronomancer just because she's first on the list. Uh, class change Elendor will become a Chronomancer. The understands the sacrifice dust not. Dost thou not? Thee will be stripped of all thy spells and knowledge thereof. Thee will be more powerful than ever before. That's false. But more vulnerable as well. Yes. Okay, so... She's in level 1 again. And it's not like it's really optional because you can't go to the next part of the game unless you have a chronomancer. Um, so here's my Chronomancer, who has four spells, three spells rather, Arbo, which teleports to Arborea, Enic, which returns from Arborea, and V-I-T-L, which is some sort of healing spell. I can't remember exactly. V-I-T-L. Yeah, <laughs> four to eight hit points of he healing. Times level, but right now level 1, so 4 to 8. So basically, uh, Elendor has basically become useless. At least for now. Later we'll get better Chronomancer spells. So, the next thing to do... You know, I probably should have uh, brought my other party member... I probably should have started the other party member before making Elendor into a Chronomancer. But so it goes. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to rejigger my party. Uh... You know, time out on that. I'm going to do that next session. This session, I'm just going to be victorious. So,
Okay, so Grisnock, for example, is currently level 14. Let's take a look at her. Level 14, strength 18, IQ 8, dexterity 15, constitution 20, luck 12. Look at that experience point number though. So here's what's gonna happen. Which is also uh, 210 hit points. So, advance. Strength, intelligence, dexterity, intelligence, luck, constitution, intelligence, dexterity, dexterity, constitution, luck, strength, constitution, constitution, strength, luck, luck, strength, 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 and that's it. Let's look at Grisnak now. She used to have 210 hit points, she now has 494. And her IQ still is terrible, her luck is now helping instead of doing nothing, and these other stats are improved. Basically everyone hits level 435, is what happens when you finish that. Well, not your Archmages. Your Archmages, they're whatever level they were. The others. Blossom's armor class. Negative 41. That's without any buffs. Shantail's armor class improved somewhat. I wonder what her dexterity is now. So I guess dexterity above 18 does improve your armor class. And she's definitely the lowest health in the in the party. I think she's going to remain susceptible to death by magic attacks for quite some time. Okay, so the next question... Well, I'm going to tell, deal with the next question in the next episode. Uh, see you next time when we start... Redesigning the party.